Hello everybody and welcome back to One Shot. Um, our little adventure here seems to have taken a bit of a turn and uh, we're now in second shot essentially. But also we started up and there was no dream, which has got me worried. Like is Nico no longer dreaming? The bridge is broken. And if not, then why not? Oh, I hope they're alright. I mean, this has definitely not been a good time for them. They've just seen some pretty horrible stuff happening, and I can't imagine what it'd be like for them now. Now we need to try and figure out a way out of here. Um... Now, the, if the bridge is broken, I guess this might be the only way forward. So let's check out down here, then. I mean, this this is a bit of the, the, the maze that we couldn't really get our, get through properly, wasn't it? So... In fact, actually, this was a secret door that was locked before, I think. Oh, and that's already corrupted. So we're not off to a very good start here. Hmm, where do we need to go? And that's all blocked off. Anywhere down here? Oh, hello, robot. Are you alive? Hello, person. Two children reside near here. Oh, oh yes, the kids. Let's go see if they're all right. The pathway is blocked. My blocks. Oh, but dot dot dot. Wait a minute. I remember something about this. <laughs> Yay! I knew you could do it. Never knew it'd be so easy. Dot dot dot. Ow, my foot. Ow. Oh, Nico, don't don't hurt yourself. Yay! The kids. Oh no, their room is blocked up. Boom. The door. I knew we'd lose our home eventually, but I wasn't expecting it to happen so soon. Oh, jeez. Are you guys okay? Oh, my stars. You're the saviour. <gasps> um, um, it's an honour to meet you. Yes. I'd love to invite you inside, but as you can see, our home is... It's got squares in it. Yes, Alula. Thank you. It's... It's getting everywhere now, isn't it? Hmm? The squares. They're way more than before. Even the gate of the refuge is destroyed now. This didn't happen last time. Last time? Nothing. Almost that that slip, April. <laughs> yeah. Guess I should introduce myself again. My name is Nico. Nico. Oh gosh, would be rude, not rude to call you by name. No worries, Calmus. How did you know my name? I um uh. Not again. The besides, just knows these things, Calmus. Right? Yeah, yes, of course. Phew. Ah, you were saying about the gate? Oh, right. Uh, it looks like I can't get in the city through the old gate anymore. Do either of you know another way to get in? I remember... I mean, I heard that there's some sort of hidden passage around here somewhere. Oh! Oh, the passage to the barrel grounds? That's the one. Oh. Uh, but I'm not sure if there'd be any, any use here. It's been flooded for a long time, and there's no boat. Not to mention the bail grounds itself is pretty far from the city. That's okay. I would still like to see it. There's only one lead we have. All right, in that case, please follow us. Yay, we have some clues, and we have some kids to help us. Can we get to the city nice and quick? We need to save this world quickly. And also save Nico and get her disconnected from this world. What have we got around here? We've still got the ball. And it's still a ball. It's mine! It doesn't bounce around as much as it used to, though. Is it a flat ball? <laughs> no secret passages hidden around there. What about down here? Oh no, yes, this okay. This looks pretty flooded. Um. Is this another wall? Is this a secret passage? Nope. Oh, hang on a moment. Having another memory. Nico, Nico, what's wrong? You look like you're you look like you're about to faint. It's not the first time it's happened. Oh, uh, uh, earlier when I was in the Barrens, I I saw something like this too. It was like a dream, but only for a split second. It sounds like a vision. And something, so it's like something a prophet would see. I, I guess. The robot lady 
I was with earlier had fancy words for it, though. Wait. Let me check something. Yeah, I can look in the notebook again. Oh, I was right. Huh? When I had the vision back in the barrens, the book started glowing too. I wanted to see if I could get it to happen again, and... Where did you get that? Oh, um, I had it with me when I woke up in this world. It looks like one of our friend's books. Except it's glowing. That's what the lady said too. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can do anything with the journal in this room. Yeah, okay. Uh, journal, journal, journal. Where's the glowing journal? So, oh, that's a pretty good match already. Oh, <laughs> I got bang on first time. Whoa. How did that book boat get there? Uh, I'm pretty sure it has to do with this journal now. The exact same thing happened back in the Barrens. Seriously? The journal was glowing. So I wanted to take a closer look at it. Then I found a page that looked like a drawing of the room we're in. And then, a minecart showed up. What? What? That sounds freaky. No, it doesn't. People must have done something. Still, I didn't do anything. Don't blame me. <laughs> hey, we have a boat now. We can go to the barrel grounds and visit Mum again. But, come on, Calamus. Nico and April are with us. Well, if April made the boat appear, then it should be so. What do you think, April? Hmm... I mean... I have a horrible feeling that things are going to go bad if they do come with us, but... Here we go! I mean, I can't say no to them going to visit their mum, so... <laughs> Look at them! <laughs> Swimming along. I mean, uh, boating along. Ah, oh, that's adorable! It's not so much a boat, it's just a plank, really. Oh, this is such a lovely piece of art. I love the I love the artwork in this game. Pooping along, having a lovely time. Although we're going to a barrel ground and not to the city, so we're kind of going out of our way. But hopefully there will be a path from there. Oh gosh, we're like out to sea now. You need it. Come on, Alula. Let's go pay our respects. Okay. Okay, so they've taken off. Oh, look at all these gravestones. It's a gravestone. It's a gravestone. It's a gravestone. Okay, enough of the gravestones. <laughs> Let's go find something more useful for us. Mm, although, what is there that we can use around here? I suppose we should talk to the kids. Let's do that first. This is her grave. Ah, it's been years, but it's still hard, you know. Mm. Uh. Lula, want to help me look for some flowers for Mum later? Yes, definitely. Aww. Mum, you're not going to believe what happened today. We met the Messiah and... Um... Hi, Nico. Hi. Aww. Okay, I'll leave them to it. They're, they've obviously got some, uh, some paying respects to do. Yeah, it is hard when you lose somebody, but you just got to hang on to the people around you. That's the important... Oh, hello. Who are you? Are you the journalist? It's you. Hmm? You. Um, my name is Nico. Ah, nice to finally meet you. Uh, no, wait. It's a pleasure to be an acquaintance at last, Nico. My name is Cedric. Oh! I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to be looking for you, too. I am aware. Prototype has uh, contacted me earlier, saying that you would be on your way to the city. He did? He sent me a message after his memories were restored. Oh! Uh, he told me to wait in the city, but I thought it'd be faster, faster for me to pick you guys up. Turns out that was a terrible idea. Pick us up? Wait, you you can fly that plane? Well, is that is what is a plane? A thing behind you. Oh, yes, we have a plane. Oh, you mean the flying machine? They're called planes in my world. Oh, yes, <laughs> we have many planes in this world. I didn't realize they existed in other worlds. Wait, are you are you the friend that Calamus and Alula talked about? Then? 
this the same flying machine they were talking about? I do not know anyone named Calamus or Lalula. I think they're meant to be friends with my father. In, pre in previous iterations of the... Your father? He was the original owner of the flying machine. It's one of his greatest inventions, actually. Your dad invented planes? Flying machines. It's cool either way. Uh, thanks. Uh, but to answer your earlier questions, I'm proficient in operating the machine. But something happened in to the engine when I was in the air earlier. I had to make an emergency landing on this tiny island before I crashed into the sea wall. You almost crashed? That's terrible! It was not pleasant, I will admit. I wonder if the engine problem had to do with the square particle disruptions. I checked, but there isn't any of that square stuff in the engine itself. But I noticed that Islands of the Glen were really messed up now. They are. <sighs> I guess I should have listened to Proto in the first place. Hey, where is he? He said he was coming with you. Is he still back at the main islands? Oh, actually, back in the barrens, he... There was a cave-in and a bunch of squares. He and the robot lady. Neither of them made it out. Hmm. Dot dot dot. No. Yeah, he did give me this, though. This disc he pulled from his head. Oh. Oh, thank goodness. He gave you his main drive. As long as I have this, I should be able to bring him back. Really? It's going to be hard, but yes. Uh, you need all three of us for the big door. Then... But the first thing's first. We need to find a way to go to the city. Right. The, the city is kind of kaput now. Uh, if, if this machine was working, we... Oh, if this machine was working, we could just fly in there. I'd keep track of which voice is which. <laughs> I've isolated the issues from the machine, but I couldn't repair it with the stuff I had on hand. Oh, what's wrong with it? The battery in the engine is dead, and the uh, the engine has some gears that need to be replaced. Oh, do you, do you think you'll be able to fix it up if April and I help you find those things? Maybe. The problem is, the Glen isn't exactly a high-tech area. Uh, I'm not sure if you'll be able to find anything so specialised here. We'll try anyway, because you got to try something, right? We can't really do anything else right now. Alright, so we have some uh, battery and some gears to find. Well, it's a crowbar. Oh, I can't take the crowbar. Do I still have my? I have my crowbar still. Alright, let's go look around to see if I can find anything useful. Something I can turn into a gear. I assume with the battery we're going to have to mix a bunch of chemicals together. Because, uh, you know, lead, lead and acid, that sort of thing. Uh, there's not really much here to get, is there? It's a pretty empty area. Let's see if I can take the boat back and, uh, hopefully I'll be able to go collect something. Whee! Away we go! Alright, at least it's a very quick boat ride. Uh, actually I suppose I should probably just check my inventory and just make sure that none of this is actually... No, I don't think any of these. I, I I imagine I could probably put some stuff in the empty bottle to help me make uh, acid, but... Uh, hmm. What around here could I potentially use, though? There doesn't seem to be much going on around here, does there? Let's check to see if there's anything else in the glen that, uh, that I can get to. So we can't get into that door back there. And what's just this one path down here? What's the bet? This is blocked off as well. Oh, no, this looks to be open. Oh, wait, and uh, Flower Lady should be up here, I think. Let's see, is she going to be here still? Ah! <laughs> Saviour! You're, you're here to see me? What, what happened to you? Oh, hold on. I need to concentrate. <gasps> The islands will collapse if I don't do something. That's why the vines. Oh, oh no. You're making the vines grow. Is that why the vines are here? Are you trying to hold the land together? My powers, the best I could do, yes. That's 
Should I leave the sun here for you? I know you wanted to see it. 17. But I mustn't. The sun brings me comfort, but... Stress is good for this. Fear is good. Makes me strong. Vines grow faster. But... If I'm at ease, the vines might retreat. They're all in danger, Saviour. The villagers, the children. My final hours mustn't go to waste. The people deserve to live, even if it's just for another day. Oh, this is really sad. <laughs> Hello. I, um, have something to ask of you. Yes? It looks like most of the bridges around the Glen are broken, and... That's right, the bridges. You need to cross them on your pilgrimage. Would you like me to fix them? Yeah. Is it possible? Hmm. Difficult. Bridges are in a very specific locations over water. You need to find the right points. Vines must be very strong too. An undertaking. Ah, but possible. I intended to use, intend to use the last of my strength. No! Please stand back. No! You're, you're meant to survive this time. I couldn't save you before. No! What happened? Are you okay? Are you... I don't like this anymore! I think... I think everybody in this world is going to die to save me. This is not what I want. I don't want this. I want them all to be good and safe and happy. Ow! Game, why do you do this to me? Be mean. Be nice and happy. Maybe I can save everybody and put them on my desktop. If I can put them on my desktop, then maybe they'll be safe. Uh, let's see. Let's, I, I guess we can get out of here now and try and make our way around the rest of the glen. So, there was a broken bridge over here. Maybe I can get across it now? Oops, I've got to find my way around all of this. There we go. We've got a lot of broken, uh, broken bits everywhere. The vines everywhere. Although where the next bit is, I couldn't tell you. The bridge to the forest is just restored. The village evacuee should be able to find better fishing spots here. The plant spirit is really looking out for us, isn't she? Yeah. Mm. Why can't I save them all? That's not fair. Okay, I need to find somebody who's got something to make a battery. Oh, you're the trader guy. Sure am. You're here to trade? Because if you are, then I've got bad news for you. A lot of my stuff is back in my cart, which was sadly abandoned when I was running for my life. So my collection is rather limited right now. I managed to grab some of my favourite things before I left, though. Oh, um, do you have anything like gears? Gears? Like the metal spinny things? No, I don't think I have anything like that. Wait, I do have this box thing that you can wind up and play a song. <gasps> That'll do it. That's a music box. Yeah, I bet there's a lot of little metal bits in there. Oh, this might work. But I'm not sure if I want to trade it away. It's one of my favourite things. Aww. Hmm. Oh, what am I saying? You're the saviour. Things have been getting bad around here lately. If I don't help you, I might not, might not be around much longer. You need to uh, save the world, right? Take it. Oh, thank you. Yay, okay, we're up, we're up one item then. Now the question is, who else? There was the sheep, the sheep herder before. What a day. Nope, the sheep herder doesn't do anything this time. Yeah. Oh god, it's that, it's that sheep again! Get out of here! <laughs> oh, hello, Messiah. Would you like some stew? I made enough to feed a whole village. Literally. It's okay, thanks. I don't know, Nikki, you should probably eat. I don't think you've eaten since you got here, have you? Our village was ransacked by the squares not long ago. Most of us made it out alive, but we can't really go back anymore. Oh. That's a bad news, man. Yeah, I think it's probably just the, the whole computer's defragging or something. Are you okay? I want to go back home. I can appreciate that. 
Okay, I think in that case I must be tapped out on this area. Let's try south and see if there's anything down there that we can uh, we can use to make a battery. Now, if I remember rightly, there was a bridge down here, I think. Oh, here we go. This looks like a crossing. Although this is a bridge to nowhere. <laughs> so, ah, here we go. There's bridges everywhere. This place is enormous. Uh, oh, robots. Hello. Hello, person. The research station is currently experiencing some technical difficulties. I can tell. Even the bridge on the way here was... Are you sent here by Dr. Silverpoint? No. Oh, carry on then. By the way, do you know where I could find a battery for a flying machine? I do not. Alright. Uh, one of these guys is going to have a battery. A research station seems like a pretty good place to go find one. Hello, person. This is the main generator of the clan. Hello. Uh, would you happen to know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? It's kind of an emergency. I do not know what a flying machine is. But any sort of large machinery would require a high capacity power cell. For example, the generator in this room utilizes such a device. Oh right, I almost forgot. We had to fix the, fix the battery in this thing in the, in the barrens, didn't we, April? If this is an emergency for living beings, you can use the battery from the generator. Oh, wait, but if we take the battery here, one of you guys would lose power, wouldn't you? April, maybe April and I should find another. Negative. This is the only battery in the Glen powerful enough to be used as a standalone unit. If it is a dire situation, then do what you must. Oh. A couple of fireflies are buzzing around in this jar. I think we have to do it, don't we? I guess we have no choice but to take this, April. Hmm. No, all the robots have gone to sleep. I just hope that that doesn't mean that, uh, oh yeah, they're all just sitting on the floor now. Okay, let's get, let's get this stuff back to the doctor as quick as we can, because, uh, I mean, if we can't fix everything, then what's the point? Oh yeah, that's not a bridge. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can find our way back over there. I will see you back there in a minute, everyone. Alright, we're back at the grave site, and we have some bits to deliver. Oh, hang on a minute, not to them, though. Uh, where's the, where's our flying machine? It is over here! Hello, hello! Sorry, I forgot. Which parts do we need to find again? A battery for the engines, and a few gears to replace the broker ones. If you can find me the parts I need, I should be able to get the machine off the ground again. Alright, in that case we have a charged battery! Can I fix it with the music box? I can't combine those. Okay, there's one at a time then. You found a battery? Oh, nice! I honestly wasn't expecting it. It's from the generator on one of the islands. The research station? Yeah. It was powering all the robots there. I felt bad for taking it. Ah, we could always give it back later. Alright. We still need a few gears to put the engine back together. Please do uh, what you can to find some. Uh, in that case, one music box. We found a music box. It should have gears in it, right? I assume so, but, hmm, looks like one of the ones that my father made. Your dad makes music boxes too? My dad made a lot of things. Where did you get this from, by the way? A trader from the village gave it to me. I see. I remember father saying he used to trade with some of the people here. He did always love travelling this world, despite, well, ah, sorry, I started travelling. The gears uh, in there are compatible with the engine. Although it pains me to have to take it apart. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. Alright, let's get this flying machine going! Looks like the flying machine stands a chance after all. I just have to assemble the pieces now, but it might take a while. Do you mind keeping me company? Yay! Yes, we will. How's it going? Slow. The connectors in the battery were not designed for this type of engine, so I had to shift around some of the parts. Um, and there's this bolt that keeps getting stuck, and... Ah, don't worry, I'm making decent progress. We should be able to make, to make it to the city by tonight. If you say so. Hmm, what, what will happen once we get there? We need to bring, back, bring Proto back first. And then we need to go find one more person. You may have already met her, actually. 
Do you remember her from the last time you were in this world? I... What does she look like? This is going to sound strange, but she is a fox. Oh, yes, I remember the, the vision. Oh, I do remember talking to a fox at one point. You've met Rue. The memories are still really blurry, though. I see. Ah, it's just hard, you know. Frodo told me to think of this world like a dream. But then I got so caught up with, and I just kind of forgot. I forgot that everything here is supposed to not be real. And then I remember. And then I just get really sad. I know this is for me to go home, but knowing none of it mattered in the first place, am I just trapped here for no reason? No, you're trapped here for my entertainment, unfortunately. And I'm trapped here for everyone else's entertainment. Let me out! <laughs> Proto also told me not to ask anybody in the world about this, saying how they don't understand. But what about him? How did he know? Hmm. How do you know? Aren't you guys all supposed to be code? Well, I'm not sure what's even to believe anymore. Hmm. I wish Rue was here. She's so much better at explaining this sort of thing. I'm doing a terrible job of it. I bet Proto was even less tactful, wasn't he? I'm afraid I must risk sounding callous, but please, do not concern yourself with how real everything is, for now. The plan is already in motion. We can't allow for distraction. Father is putting everything into this one last run of the world. The last chance for him to fix everything. Your father is involved in the world machine? You could say that. The acceleration of square particle anomalies uh, was not accounted for at all, though. The patch was only built to accommodate the normal rate, they appear, but they're accumulating at frightening speeds now. Proto even lost his body. Thankfully, you gave he gave you the disc just in time. So what happened to him anyway? What happens to anyone who gets caught in the squares? I only know it's bad. Well, you know how the simulation works, right? How everything is code. Specifically, everything is generated from pre-existing code. The squares can cause damage to that code. Most of the time, irreversible damage. Father has lost some friends in previous iterations of the simulation. It took him forever to develop the current, much more stable version. You're making it sound like your dad built the simulation himself. Wait, did he? Yeah. But how? If everyone in this world is code, then how can he build himself? That's, um, not really what happened. So what did happen? Like I said, you shouldn't concern yourself with... Hmm. With... Hmm. All right, all right. Did Prototype ever tell you about the old world? He did say something about being built to greet the Messiah of the old world. I was, um, too caught up with the other stuff at the time to think about it. Ah, you know of it, at least, then. All right, here we go. My father, myself, the other two. None of us were a part of the simulation itself. Our homeworld, the real world, was actually destroyed a long time ago. Oh. In the years leading up to the Calamity, scientists from all over the world tried to stop it. But the outlook was bleak. The vague prophecy of, of a messiah from another world, because it became everyone's last bastion of hope. Prophetbot, a prototype, was built to predict the future, about the specifics of this messiah. But his predictions, as his predictions turned out, the messiah would not have been able to arrive in our world in time. In fact, the messiah would not have even been born in our uh, before our world ended. Oh, disheartened. Most people abandoned their research and resolved to live that peacefully live out their final years. But some people did the opposite. Even though the world, uh, saving the world was impossible, they didn't want our existence to be in vain. And that's, that's where my father came in. With the last of his resources, he built his most ambitious project yet. The World Machine. A large, detailed fast mile of the old world, generated from a pool of memories collected from everybody he knew. After a heavy amount of modification and added narrative, my father was able to convert the entire structure into code. Oh. 
How did that code escape the old world? I have no idea. What I do know is, there is no equipment back home that was powerful enough to run the code independently. So aside from the standard hardware, it also needs to borrow the mental processing abilities of a living person. Rather used himself for that during the initial testing phases. Like I said, it took many iterations for him to make the experience stable enough. But as you can see, even that's breaking down. Ah, that had caught on to the issue in, in the last minute, but did not, did not have time to fix it. After the world ended, the code just kinda ended up floating in the void indefinitely, waiting for a willing operator to install it on their own hardware. April? Yeah. The operator, April, would then generate the universe using the code, becoming God in the process. Ah, yes, I like being God. <laughs> so, April was the living person you needed to borrow? No. That would be you. But why me? Hmm. I should have asked that question a long time ago, shouldn't I? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> I do not know. We really need to get going. Are we going to fly on an aeroplane? It's fixed. We can leave uh, in the next five minutes if you are ready. Alright. Um, I understand if you're upset. But please, try to understand. My father is doing this to help all of us. And that includes you, Nico. The fact you can't even go back home. I'm sure it, it upsets him greatly. It's... Uh, the world means a lot to him, you know. So, how does... Flying work. Wait, don't these machines already exist in your world? You should already know what to expect. Not really. I only heard about them. They're usually a lot bigger than this one anyway. Ah. Well, a word of precaution before we take to the air. Please try not to panic. <laughs> Do not panic and always keep your towel on you. It takes a few minutes to get of getting used to, but it's not that bad once you're in the air. I'll, I'll try. Oh, I should probably tell Claudius, uh, Calamus, and uh, Alula where I'm going. You mean those two running over there now? Nico! <gasps> Here they come. Bad news! The bow is gone. What? It's the squares! It looks like they're headed in this direction. That's... fast. Uh, yeah, we should all get into plane. <laughs> Calamus, right? Yeah. How bad is it? Doesn't seem to be of immediate danger. Then, it is a priority that I take you to the city first, Nico. But what about them? I can make a detour later and drop you guys off in the city too, if you want. The city is better equipped to handle the squares. You'll be safer there. They're taking us to the city? If you wish. Oh yeah! All right. I will be back here in an hour, so please wait for me until then. You guys are sure you'll be fine here? Mm-hmm. The squares are still moving pretty slowly for now. All right, then. Guess we'll run into each other again soon. I'm ready to go. All right. To the city! Do-do-do-do! Yay! Flying in an aeroplane! Aw, oh, look at us go! <laughs> Nico looks so happy. Oh, it's a big, amazing world. Of course, where are we going to land in this city? It seems to be just made of tower blocks. <laughs> oh, right, just on a roof. You made it. <sighs> you okay there? Ah, that was the coolest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Reflection, uh, reactions to first timers are always the life of the watch. Ah! Hmm. Hey, April. That was really fun. Did you have fun too? I mean, you weren't on the plane with me, but you got to watch it at least, right? And Cedric. Yeah? Thanks. What? Oh. Um, for flying. Oh, um, you're welcome. And for answering my questions back there, too. And for telling me more about the world machine. I'm just really sorry about what happened to your old world, though. So, I'll help you the best I can. Oh. And, um, 
Even if it's just a machine, this world is still nice. I mean, I got to fly. I got to see the ocean. And I got to meet a lot of nice people. People like you. And Prototype, even if he's broken right now. Hmm. I'm glad you're taking it all so well, Nico. And I'm glad that we have met as well. Despite the circumstances. Ah, speaking of Proto, I should probably head off now. I need to go pick up the siblings, too. That's true. Those two have been waiting for a while now. In the meantime, do you remember what to do to get to the surface? I remember having to fix an elevator button. Alright, you should attend to that, then. Let's meet up in here in an hour, then. Got it. Alright, now, let me just... Uh-oh. No! No, the squares! Curse you squares! Mm. <gasps> no! They're trapped on the island! No! Calamus! Alula! There! We... we don't have much time left. Nico, change your plans. Please give me the memory disk. Oh, alright. Listen carefully. It's likely I'll be targeted again, so we should split up to keep you safe. I want you to find a door under a large clock. The room behind it houses a pair of ground access elevators. Once you get to the ground, immediately find Rue and bring her back to the room. She'll know what to do in the meantime. Alright, what about you though? I'm going to bring Prototype back. Ooh! What? Are you okay? What? <laughs> Are you okay? Don't worry, I'll be fine. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. <sighs> hey, April. Let's do our best. Yes, we shall. We shall do this amazingly fast. No one else will get hurt. I'm quite sure. Oh, no, we can't even go up to the, the, the plant nursery. Oh, wait. Okay, so this... This was missing before. Ah, so now that's that's where the plane roof is. Oh no, the everything's getting corrupted. Okay, what about the Come on! Come on! Work already! Huh? Oh right, the elevator guy. Let's get this elevator going. We're gonna need scissors and glue and come on! Come on! Now of all times! Uh, excuse me? Whoa! You're... you! Oh jeez, I didn't think I was gonna run into... The elevator's missing a button, right? How did you know? Um... <laughs> April and I will help you fix it. Seriously? Oh, thank goodness. The evacuees are counting on this. On me. But I've been here for hours and can't figure out a thing. Evacuees? You know, from the western apartments. The square stuff wrecked the place yesterday. Oh. Right now, everyone's crowded in the cafe. We really want to get everyone to the surface as soon as possible, though. The library on the surface doubles as a shelter for situations like this. I see. Wait, didn't we find all the magnets and stuff in the apartments, April? The what? Looks like we'll have to find some other way to fix the button. Oh, um, I don't think that's going to be a question anymore. Holy fudge. Looks like April and I will need to find another way down altogether. But this is the only elevator in the, in the area. Well, think of something. Okay, so elevator is out of the question. Uh, what about the cafe that was over here? I th well, I think this was the way to the cafe anyway. Uh, it is getting rather dire though, isn't it? <laughs> yes, we have a lot of people. This place is empty before. Oh no, but where's the... Where's the person who was serving? Our apartment got activated while my parents were at work. I'm waiting them for them to pick us up now. I hope they're okay. At least my robot's with me. Squares make the people evacuate. Evacuate makes the, makes the girl sad. Squares are bad. Ah, there's a good chain of logic there. Bummer. I had to leave most of my plants behind. This stinks. I'm sorry to hear. Speaking of plants, I heard the Glen is just covered in vines now. Is that true? Yeah. The plant lady was using them to keep the land from falling away. The plant spirit, Maze, I figured. To say, how is she doing? Um, ah, she's gone, isn't she? She said she was going to use the last of her powers. I wouldn't be surprised. She always did her best to protect everyone. 
Oh no, it's getting really sad. <laughs> um, at least you made it out of the glen. Thank you. I just moved into my apartment. Now where am I gonna go? So many dots. Ah, da 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 da. Same as usual, huh? It's that penguin. Hello. I still don't like that. <laughs> Whip. <laughs> oh, hello, sire. You um, you came at a bad time. Uh, the apartment in the west sector got destroyed by squares a day ago. Terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, but at least the evacuees seem to be doing okay. We're getting, we're letting them stay here for now. You made me pancakes. At least people won't starve here. The perks of using in a cafe as an emergency shelter, huh? Yeah, but I'm gonna starve. I haven't had pancakes yet. All right, so everything down here is all corrupt and useless. So let's see if we can find another way from one of the other pathways. There was one up here which I didn't go up, go to last time, I think. Yeah, it took me absolutely ages to remember to actually go into this one. All right. Here we are, at the 11th hour. Didn't you be with the other evacuees? Maybe. I wonder if the big clock has reached zero yet. I want to be right here when everything else ends. Well, that's a bit of a morbid way to look at it. Okay. Communications with the service have been lost. I am unable to do anything. I've got a com com computer terminal. Oh no, this is where all the glue was before. Who took my stapler? Oh no, even the stapler's gone! Oh, this is terrible! How can anybody live without their stapler? Alright, this is the computer that told me stuff before and the screen's off, so I think the computers are all gone, aren't they? Well, there's gonna be something around here, right? Oh dear, the big clock has reached zero. The door is locked. It looks like it's asking for a password. The word documents is on the screen and above the password prompt. Alright, back to my documents then. Uh, let's have a quick look. Oh, wait. It's not this one, is it? That was the one we used in the in the uh, on the cliffs, I think. And is it still the ones generated from this? I'll need to remember what the code was. One moment. This password feels very different, but let's give it a shot. That wasn't it. Oh. Oh wait, hang on, I think I've got them in the wrong order. <laughs> whoops. Ah yes, yeah, Solstice, that was it. Yay, let me in. Okay. It was the same as it was before, I just had all the wrong files open in the wrong order. <laughs> what is this about? This one is red. This one's green. Oh, this one doesn't have a colour apparently. And this one's obviously blue. Okay, so I don't know what that means though. The elevator has no button panel. Tapping the button, the door doesn't work either. Hmm. That usually works. Wait, there's a lever hanging from the ceiling. Can you reach it, Nico? No, can't reach it. Okay, we need to somehow get Nico's arm longer. And I think this one's probably not going to work. Yep, stuck on another floor. Um, Can you use a crowbar, Nico, and reach up? That does seem like something that will give you extra reach, so... Leave hanging from the ceiling. We should find someone tall to reach it for a safe floor. Ah, okay. Okay, yep, no, we need to find someone taller. Let's go see if we can talk to chat person, uh, clock person. Oh, I'm gonna have to put the password in every single time. And there's another path up here. Okay, let's talk to the clock person first, and then hopefully they will come and do that lever for us. Because, uh, yeah, poor little Nico is way too short for this sort of thing. So let's get back over there nice and quick. Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Please leave me be. We're running out of time. Okay, never mind then. Got anything that I can show you to make you want to help me? Now. Okay, in that case, let's try above the clock. Let's get over there quick, nice and quick. Here we have... A passageway out of here. Okay. This could be something along one of these paths, right? Or is it going to be... Oh wait, wasn't this an infinite loop before? I've got a feeling this is an infinite loop. <laughs> uh, 
it goes on and on and on and on. And then I'm just back at the clock again. Hmm. Well, in that case, we shall leave this area for now and uh, check out what's in the other directions. So let's get over there and see what we've got. Do, 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 do. There's got to be something over here though, right? I mean, the elevator's going to still be busts, I assume. Very much so. And then down here... Was, this, was there a sleeping room down here? Ah, uh, you know what? Actually, I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes, Nico, absolutely. You should sleep until next week. Sleeping time! Ah, it's been really good fun. I've, uh, it's getting rather tense at the moment, though. Everything's breaking around me. So we shall see what happens in the next video. Until then, everyone, thanks for watching. Take care and bye bye.